Hi, and welcome to Renewing the Mind. And I'm your host, Pastor Kevin. And today we're continuing our series on God's promises and specifically the promise that God has that he will supply all our needs. Our verse comes from Philippians 4, 19 this morning. And the passage says this, And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. These, I find, are such encouraging words. Uh, whether you've been in a situation where you've lost a job or maybe your income wasn't good enough, uh, or maybe you've had some attic expenses that you're concerned about how we pay the bills this month because of this extra bill we have to pay. Um, either way, we can know as Christians that God loves us and cares for us deeply. So there's two points I want to share with you from this verse this morning. First is, God will supply your needs. As a Christian, God promises to you that he'll take care of you. Now, that doesn't mean that we can be lazy and decide, oh, I'm just going to sit on my butt all day and, and not work a job. I'm not going to get an income. I'm just going to sit around and do nothing. No, God doesn't honor that because his word does say too that he who doesn't work shouldn't eat. And so work looks very different for different people though, though too. Uh, for some who are in ministry, uh, such as missionaries, for example, even church planters sometimes too, have to rely on the Lord to provide to pay the bill sometimes. But we see that God does provide. And those who are like missionaries and, and pl church planters, they are busy about the Lord's work and God does take care of them. Same thing with you if you are not in professional ministry. Um, God will take care of you. He promises that he'll supply your needs. So when you're worried about what to do with things that are tight financially, trust God because he'll supply your needs. I want to share a little bit of a story with this to you today. A couple months ago, things were very tight for my family and I, and I was really wrestling and struggling and, and in all honesty, anxious. Shouldn't, didn't need to be because I know that God supplies, but yet in my own humanness, I was anxious. And I was like, Lord, how, how are we going to pay our bills? How are we going to make it this month? Well, that week, I went to my mailbox, opened up the mailbox, and in there was an envelope addressed to my, my wife and I with $1,000 cash in it. I was so thankful to see that. And then another person from the States sent a check for 500 US that came in that same week too. God took care of us and provided for our very needs. I had no idea how God would provide. I knew he would, but again, still my humanness, I was anxious. And I didn't need to be. Because God's word does promise, he'll take care of us. And in Matthew, he talks about that very thing too. We don't need to worry about what we'll eat or what we'll close ourselves with, where we'll live. Because God knows those things. And even before we ask them, he knows those things. Now, he does want us to pray and come to him and say, Lord, this is my need. You know the need, but I entrust it to you, Lord God. And God will take care of those needs. Second point is God has resources to provide your needs. Sometimes we talk about in the church about the financial need of a church, and, but we can't forget that God is not short on resources. God does amazing things. God does not, is not short on cash. And uh, God doesn't need cash, for one. God can do amazing things and works. So God has ample resources to take care of your needs, whether it be groceries or putting gas in the gas tank, paying your rent or your mortgage, all those things. God knows all these needs, and he will take care of you. He promises it to you as a Christian. So I want to encourage you, Know that God loves you deeply. He knows your needs. Yes, come before him with your needs, but trust them to the Lord. Don't be anxious about them. I know that's easier said than done. But trust him. He will take care of you. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much that you are a provider. One of your names, Lord God, is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. So, Lord God, as we seek to follow you and trust you for our daily needs, we thank you so much, Lord God, that you do provide for our needs. Lord, thank you so much for the many stories that we do here, too, of your provision, even the one I just shared. God, you are a good God. 
and we will trust you to provide for every needs, Lord. Whether it be a good paying job or some other way you provide for us. Lord, we are so thankful that you do provide for us. God, you are good. And Lord, we do even pray now too. We entrust to you and ask you to continue to provide for us. And we trust you to do so. Thank you, Lord God, for your faithfulness to us. For these things we pray in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Well, I'd like to converse with you further on this. So I invite you to leave a comment down below and I will respond to you. Also, if you don't want to comment, but you still want to talk about this further with me, have some questions you'd like to ask, feel free to contact me. The contact information is down below for a phone number and email address. Also, if you don't have a home church and you've been watching these videos and you're thinking, huh, we should check out New Life Christian Community. You can check us out more by checking our website out at nlchristiancommunity.com. Dot com and a link will be in the description down below for that as well. Next week we'll be talking about how God gives to us what we pray for. And yes, it relates to a past devotional, but we'll talk more about that next week. Until then, may you know the presence and peace of God in your life. God bless.